Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. It's been a very long time since I filmed, so this video is probably gonna be a hot mess, probably gonna be super duper awkward, and you know, just fringy. Um, so I apologize for that, but please just bear with me because I feel like anytime you take a break from YouTube or just like don't film in like a while, like if you pre film and then you just don't film in a couple weeks or something like that. You just basically have to relearn how to talk in front of a camera and not feel super duper strange and weird and awkward. So just bear with me for a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to where we were. But today's video is super duper exciting because it's gonna be a foundation first impressions on the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. I'm super, super duper excited about it. This was sent to me from Influencer for free to try out and test out. I'll have my influencer link down below if you guys want to, you know, try out some free stuff for yourself. Um, love it, it's my favorite uh, like site like that. It's so, so, so good. Also, you're probably wondering why there's a Christmas tree right next to me. Not a Christmas tree, it's actually just like a tree. Um, we actually have our room set up in kind of like a Game of Thrones type of theme. And so the tree kind of goes with it. And I just turned the lights on because it looked super weird just, you know, setting next to me. So that is why. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to prime my skin with the Becca Blacklight Primer. Um, this is literally my favorite primer of all time. This, If you've watched any of my foundation first impressions or anything like that, this is... I always use this and then um, for a long time I used the Smashbox primer in like certain areas as well um, but I just found that I don't know I like this one just by itself uh, this one always just it never lets me down just never lets me down uh, definitely put way too much in that one spot that's that sucks all right Let's look. Okay, so this is supposed to be a clean, water-based liquid foundation that's in a stick. It combines hydrating skincare benefits and SPF with naturally radiant medium coverage. Alright, so basically this is supposed to be like the Complexion Rescue. Um, they're like tinted moisturizer, but in a stick form. And it's also supposed to give you more coverage than the Complexion Rescue. So the Complexion Rescue is like a light coverage. Um, like a very light coverage, I would say. So I'm gonna just read the highlighted ingredients. So first it says mineral rich volcanic seawater helps provide mineral rich moisture and refreshing hydration. Red algae helps skin to retain moisture. Titanium dioxide, 4.15% mineral based sunscreen. Okay. And then this is also supposed to be free of sulfates, SLS and SLES, parabens, formaldehydes, formaldehyde releasing agents and then a whole bunch of other stuff this is vegan cruelty free and gluten free all right um one thing that i did what that i was thinking about last night none of the bare minerals foundations claim to like last a certain amount of time except for the bare pro i'm like 99 percent sure that that one says that it's gonna last like a certain amount of time. I know the Complexion Rescue doesn't say anything about it, and then this one doesn't like claim to last. This is what the outside packaging looks like. It looks exactly like the Complexion Rescue box, which I love. I love that it's just literally like a mini one. Um, I got the shade Birch 1.5. I definitely think that this is gonna be way too light. I could be wrong, 100% be wrong, but I think that this is gonna be too light. Um, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. There, maybe. I don't like the way that looks. Let me zoom you out. Okay, so. I got a new camera if you guys couldn't tell. I'm super excited about it. All right, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So as always, I do a brush on one side and a, uh, like a beauty blender or like a beauty sponge on the other side. So we're gonna do the sponge side on this one and we're just gonna, we're gonna go after it. Yeah, this is definitely going to be too light, but that's okay. We're going to bronze her up. So right off the bat, 
it definitely like looks like the like if I was to like take the complexion rescue and like put it on the back of my hand and swipe it with my finger it looks like it would be like the same amount of like coverage wise I don't know if that makes sense like if I was to take it and like swipe it this is exactly what it would look like it wouldn't look like any more or any less uh, coverage like this definitely looks like a very light coverage like I don't know really how it's gonna be a medium but we'll see huh it's actually not that bad of a color match I'm so much paler than what I thought <laughs> All right, so don't know if I would say it's medium coverage. Actually, I would definitely say it's not medium coverage. So this is a side with nothing. This is a side with, with it and a sponge. I mean, you can definitely see like my blemishes right there. gonna go with my very very first first impressions not a fan so far but we'll see with my uh, brush I feel like it takes like a lot and like you don't really get that much coverage for how much like, I feel like I'm applying like a ton which I mean I guess it is medium coverage where a lot of the stick foundations are like full coverage so I mean I guess that could be why I feel like I'm applying so much but one thing I will say um I have like a magnifying mirror like Brennan got me this for Christmas it's like this super duper awesome mirror it's super like it's lighted and everything I don't have it turned on right now but it's like a magnifying one and it like mimics sunlight and so I will say that I've been a lot harder on my makeup products recently um, just because this shows every single imperfection that you have like every single one so if it looks good in this mirror then it's gonna look good in every single light and every single other mirror so just so you know that's the mirror I'm looking at Cause it's just like so magnified and then like I feel like um especially whenever you go outside and like look in like your car mirror or something your makeup looks completely different and that's just because of the lighting and so kind of takes that away since it already has that lighting all right so this is the brush side I don't notice any difference from the brush side and the uh sponge side at all like literally at all I can honestly see everything like all of the like I don't know areas that I want to hide I can 100% see them and it looks like it's not even remotely covered up at all it definitely has the feel of the complexion rescue though like it, it feels the exact same and honestly I mean like it looks the exact same like I feel like this would be the exact same amount of coverage I would get if I had the Complexion Rescue. And this, I'm definitely using so much. Literally so much product. Like you can tell. I don't like that. I definitely feel like I shouldn't have to use this much product for this product or for this but okay so I'm going in with the second layer literally all over my face because I feel like it didn't cover up anything I do like the dewiness that it has. It has like a really nice, like pretty dewiness finish, but. So, I'm gonna zoom you guys in even more. And 
hopefully you can kind of make out what it looks like because I think it looks like shit to be super duper honest I mean it doesn't look that bad in this mirror but it don't look good it's not something that I would like um, get from Sephora and like bring it home and try it out and be like oh yeah I'm gonna keep this this is something I would 100% like return as of right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup I'm gonna put my like concealer and powder and stuff on I'm just gonna go in with the um, the Dior concealer and then the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder all right guys <clears throat> I finished the rest of my makeup and I'm back so let's look at this foundation All right, I'm gonna be honest, it's not terrible. I don't like it at all, but I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's, I mean, it's not terrible, you know what I mean? Like, it's not something I will probably wear again, to be like completely honest, just because I don't like the way it looks on my skin at all. Now, reckon I do have very, very dry skin, but with that being said, I feel like it should look really, really good because it's mint for like it's meant for all skin types but I mean the basis of what it's made for is to hydrate the skin and so I feel like it should look a lot better on my very very dry skin but I understand why it doesn't because I do have extremely dry skin so I'm just gonna go ahead and say you know if you have very, really dry skin go ahead and save your money um I, oily skin is not going to like this just because it is like a hydrating formula and um, I do feel like you can feel this on the skin which same with the complexion rescue I can still feel it on my skin um, whereas like the Too Faced Born This Way or maybe Fenty or something like that you can't really feel it on the skin at all it just kind of like seeps in and it like it feels kind of like you have nothing on whereas this one you definitely feel like you have something on it feels like you have like a heavy moisturizer on um, so, I don't know, maybe normal skin types with absolutely no texture because I definitely feel like um, any blemishes I have are kind of like definitely, like it definitely draws more attention to it. Um, so yeah, that that's basically my thought process. I don't really like it. Um, personally, I'd save your money. Um, if you're really wanting something like super hydrating, I mean, go for the original Complexion Rescue because I just don't think that this is that great and I feel like you are going to go through it so fast just because of how much I put on my skin and yet I can still see this blemish and this blemish and like I can still see all of my blemishes. And so like to put that much foundation on and to still see all of your imperfections, I would just go ahead and save your money. I was going to do a wear test for you guys, but honestly, I feel like this foundation is just not going to last whatsoever. I mean, I can already feel, I don't know, I just feel like whenever I touch it right here, even though I set it with like the normal powder I always set my foundations with, I feel like it's already like coming off. And I just, personally, I really, really don't like the way it looks on my skin. And so, I mean, it's not really going to matter how long it lasts because I don't plan on ever wearing it again. Just because, I don't know, I don't like the way it looks on my skin at all. I feel like it has cr it's creating texture in areas that I don't have texture. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. No. I'm gonna, so I'm going to go ahead and say pass. Yeah. I'm going to say pass on this. But yeah, that's my review on this product. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just, you know a very long drawn out process for me to say that I hate it but um yeah uh, thank you guys so so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already I am going to be posting at least two videos a week for now on um trying to create like a schedule I'm just trying to you know do the dang thing and the dang thing being YouTube um so yeah <laughs> just bear with me um thank you guys so so much for staying subscribed in my long ass absence but yeah thank you guys so so much um Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.